In this video, we'll be going over the recursive approach in climbing stairs. This will be the first video in a four-part series. So you are climbing a staircase. It takes n steps to reach the top. Each time you climb, at once or two steps. And how many distinct ways can you climb to the top? So in our first example, we have two. So there are two ways. You take one step and one step and you get, uh, and then you reach the top. And then, you, or you can just take two steps to reach the top. And then in this example, we have the input of three, and then we have three possible combinations to reach the top. So let's first go over our thought process. We are trying to find number of distinct ways to reach the top, which is zero to n. We should note that going from zero to n is the same as going from n to zero. We will implement a recursive approach that goes from n to zero. When we reach the bottom floor at, n, at zero, we have found one way, one distinct way. So in each of the recursive call, we will first implement a recursive approach. In each of the recursive call, we have two choices. We can either take one step or once we can either take one step or take two steps. We will want to find the number of distinct ways, find the total number of distinct ways from both choices. Now let's go over pseudocode. So implement the recursive approach. What parameters do we need? This, the parameters we need is n, our current step. And then what's the base case? If n is equal to, is equal to zero, then we have reached the bottom floor or n is equal to one, then we only have one choice left. It just takes to take one more step. So then we only have, we have found one distinct way. Then in each of the recursive call, recursively find the number of ways. We call it ways one when we take one step. Take one step. So we do n m minus one. So it makes it basically means we take one step. Recursively find the number of ways we take two steps. So we have n m minus two. And then we want to find the total number of ways. So it's return ways one plus ways two. Let's go over the time and space complexity. complexity is go to O of 2 of n, 2 to the n, where n is the input value. And we're O of 2 to the n. Each recursive call has up to two choices and a depth of n. Now let's go over the space complexity is go to O of n, where n is the input value. O of n is the recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So if n is equal to zero or n is equal to one, then we have found one way. So we return one. And then we want to find the total number of steps, of uh, total number of ways if we take one step. And then also the total number of ways if we take two steps. So this solution is not efficient enough and will result in TOE error. We can optimize this. We can optimize this approach using memorization in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.